Hello YouTube, this is Free Fonts HD and my name is Sandra and I'm coming to you today with a GIMP tutorial on how to make this really nice gloss effect that I have on my profile. Um, you can go check it out right now, it's pretty much on my logo and on the profile. And uh, let's get started. Okay, so open up GIMP, I already have it opened up right here and um, we're going to go to File, New. Um, just for the tutorial purposes, I'll put uh, 1280 by 720. Okay, so we could just grab any um, font. It doesn't really matter. I'll use... Um, let's see. I'll just use any random one. Um... How about Zerod? I'll use Zerod. Um, so we grab the the text tool over here, and you you type in anything you want. Um, I'll type in tutorial, and just make the size um, bigger. Okay, so now we just go to, what I usually do is go to layer and then auto crop layer. What this will do is just um, basically automatically crop the whole layer for you. Um, sorry, my GIMP is working a little slow right now. Okay, so you see it only cropped the, the edges. So now what we're going to do is click this little button over here. I'm not sure what it's called. Oh, it's called um, alignment tool. Click on that, click on the text, and then push this button, and then this one. That just makes sure it's in the middle. Um, I'm going to add a background to this. I'm going to go to the gradient tool. Just pick any color you want. I'm going to put that green over here, radial, and then I'll put FG to BG. And then go from the middle outwards, like that. Okay, so now on to the, the gloss part of the tutorial. You're going to go over here to the text layer, right click on it, and alpha to selection. I'm going to fill it in with a, a gradient. So I'll go over here and put linear. And then I'll stroke upwards like this. And I'll put... Um, now go to select background, the background layer, and make a new layer on top of that click OK. And now what we're going to do is we're going to select Grow, Grow by 3. Now go to the Paint Bucket tool. Make sure you have white as your foreground color. Have the option Fill Whole Selection. And then just fill it in. And then go Select None. Now we're going to go back to the text layer. And we're going to go to Script Full, Layer Effects, Inner Shadow. I leave it at the default settings and then I put OK. Now that you see it adds like a little depth inside. Now go back to the, the white part of the layer, the, the edges over here. Right click on it, Alpha to Selection. Create a new layer above that. And now go to the Selection tool over here. And make sure it's on this selection right here that I'm clicking right now. And select the bottom half almost like this. Now, now as you can see, it just selected like the bottom part of the whole white selection. Now go back to your gradient. Make sure you have black as your foreground color. And go to FG to transparent. Make sure it's on linear. And then stroke down about... Uh, three-fourths of the way down like this and then go to select none and now you see it adds that little gloss at the edges but it's too overdone so I'm gonna tone the opacity down over here a bit like this and you're almost done now I just need to add a little more depth so go back to the new layer over here the white part of it go to filters light and shadow drop shadow and then put zero offset X, 0 offset Y, and then 
Make sure it's at 100% opacity and do not allow resizing. Make sure this option is unchecked and then put OK. And there you go. You have a nice shiny effect on your on your text. So I hope you guys found this uh, tutorial very useful. Um, hopefully you'll be able to use it in the future. And I'm very glad to help. Make sure you leave more requests in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.